today we are out in Pushback Ridge, uh, which is a community about plus 600k from Johannesburg. And uh, what we're really doing out in this community is providing access to basic healthcare to, me to medical uninsured uh, women. So if Pink Drive does not come out to these communities, the chances of any, any breast cancer, cervical cancer, or any other general disease being detected go, is highly unlikely, which increases the risk of, of someone dying from a disease that one, is treatable, and two, be detected. So Pink Drive is providing an invaluable service to people in need. Well, here uh, we are involved with Pink Drive to assist the community of Pushback Ridge uh, on the breast cancer test. Uh, doing mammograms. We also have got other departments like your home affairs, your social development that we're partnering with as a Dara and Daughter Foundation to, to make sure that we assist the communities here on their health issues. We want to thank Pink Drive as a reliable partner. We partner with them as a department from time to time on different outreach <coughs> programs. So that's what we want to achieve today, the highest number. So with all of us there, the highest number of people that must be tested must be there today. From the first person to the last one will get a blanket as a way for us as social development to encourage them and to say thank you for testing, for knowing your status. And the aim was to reach as many people as possible to one, provide breast cancer awareness and education, two, to provide free pop smears and um, as well as the pop smears is also three mammograms uh, to 20 women per day. So the experience, the experience has been exceptional. The response has been overwhelming. Uh, we're now at a point where we've got to have some interesting conversations with uh, our, our partners because it's clear that we need to be able to at least come back and continue providing the support for the community of Pushpak Ridge. Today we are here just to check uh, the elders and also the youngs and the women in particular, even men about this uh, cancer that is uh, uh, trying to destroy our community as a whole. But not necessarily the cancer and also the related diseases such as HIV and AIDS and also sugar diabetes and, and, and other related diseases so that uh, our people can have a longer time to live. Yeah, I think it's very, very, very important to the community because uh, it gives the, the community confidence to the leadership and also to the, to the country. And also they are important because they know their status. If you know your status, you are relieved. If you know what to take and what not to take. And that way uh, you, are, you have more days to get to leave. I should think that it's more important, this uh, campaign. And I hope and believe if it can be done timelessly, it can assist. Because our own people, they have to be educated about it. You will remember when we started with this HIV and AIDS, to them it was making them to uh, it's a secret. Meanwhile, it's a killer disease. Uh, but now, if it's exposed, they are exposed to such this thing. Look here, we also brought it, not necessarily for diseases only, for social uh, services like uh, home affairs, they are here. Uh, you will see the Sasa people, they are here, where you can get your services closer to their homes. I should think this campaign is it, uh, uh, very, very, very important. These campaigns are important because people lack information on, the, on such issues. They only come to the facility when they are having a big problem. But when they are not having pain, they don't come to the facilities. So these campaigns help a lot to the, our community. I would like to thank the team for coming to give up information to our clients and our community so that we can curb complications before they start. I think this is a crucial important screening issue as one of the highest killer diseases here in South Africa. So, and most women, really, women are dying due to lack of knowledge and lack of screening issue. But if it comes closer to the people, like now we feel that we are fortunate and the lucky village here as a rural area, that most of our people are going to be screened and know their status, if they have got cancer or not. It was good because I thought maybe it's painful because when I asked someone said 
It's painful, but I didn't see that painful inside there. It was nice, it was good. I'm uh, with Kambala cancer because my mom, Mokwame Ilova, because of cancer. I want big drive to come and test at the compound because some of the people are afraid to go to the clinic and we will support them and we want them to go door by door because some of the people are dying with the breast cancer and the womb cancer with the fear and the, the distance is very far from the clinic. So I want Pink and Drive to come to our compound and test everybody and the ladies are dying with breast cancer and they, they pass me and they don't want to do it. They stay at home because the, the clinics are too far, so they've got, they've got, they are lazy to go and test. Some of them, they don't know what is a pap smear, and the, some of them, they don't know what is cancer. I saw the pink trucks visiting one of the local clinics, then I came to inquire what was happening. And after that, I was told that they're doing a breast awareness testing and also um, pap smear. And I was very much interested in that, where I had my breast tested for cancer and it went all good. Um, we could have initiatives like this every day of our single lives. I for one have got bad personal experience with our local clinics where I went to inquire to have a pap smear done as I was advised by one of the nurses that I work with. When I got to two local clinics I was told that I was supposed to wait for the age of 30 or I should wait to have a child or I should wait for an HIV positive status before I could have a pap smear done. So the information that I got here today really helped me a lot and hopefully our nurses also know that once a person is sexually active, they're in the right of state to have a pap smear done on them. I'm also tested as a CDW, so that to encourage people to test, to encourage the women to test, it is very important to test uh, breast cancer because cancer is a disease you can die, it kills. So most of our women must test uh, uh, breast cancer um, so that you must stay, stay happy, you know your status. I come here to do some tests of, of care, that if I, I have cancer or not, to make sure. It's a big event uh, for the women for examination uh, the breast to detect the, the breast cancer and also the pap smear to, de to detect the cervical cancer and for men uh, to examine for the prostate to detect the, the prostate cancer. I visited Tubukani Clinic for the test of breast cancer. I get the lady standing next to me. The, the test that he gave to me, it was very fantastic. Lady, keep it up. Don't do it to me, do it to the others. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, thanks very much. I'm here to, just to, take, to test for breast cancer. And breast cancer is very important to test because it affects everyone and it is important to know your status. Today we are doing the cervical screening to the women and also self and teaching them about the self breast examination and also do the mammogram to those who are supposed to be done. We are also doing the HIV testing. We do have the SASA officing, we are doing the thing of application for social grants and we are also checking the blood pressure and the sugar, blood sugar level in the patients. I'm so excited about this uh, kind of uh, drive because sometimes the patients are used to us, they are scared, but once they see the pink and drive truck, they become excited and then they come voluntarily to do the cervical cancer screening. Because the members of the community, at least from our observation, didn't want to come down to the clinics themselves without the pink drive service being here, they found that we, we were unfortunately found a lot of uh, challenges within the, the women's health uh, with, with, with individuals that could have been picked up pre uh, Pink Drive's uh, service. And my main uh, worry is that what happens once we leave? You know, of course, the resistance is, is there to come to the clinic. So once we leave, 
or is, it, is the system going to continue to allow itself where people come back and don't get tested? None of pen drives work could be done without the loyal support of its employees who give timelessly of their time every single day and that is weekends included, our loyal sponsors as well as support from certain government departments, example uh, Department of Social Development. All these people and, and companies make up the existence and allow us to do what we do with passion daily to help the women and the men of South Africa.